Welcome back. We're going to talk about something here. And Napoleon Dynamite, he has skills. You ask him. You know, he's got skills. Do you? That's the question. I know I'm kind of being silly. But the fact of the matter is, is People talk about side hustles and this and that. And they think, oh, man, yeah, it's got to be something elaborate. Yeah, it's going to cost you a lot of money, this, that, and the other thing, right? You know, there's Amish people around here, which I probably said that before in my other videos. Good people. Been to their churches. Know them. Help them. Do what they can. They're not the type to ask for it. But sometimes they get in over their head on certain things because they don't understand it. But I'll tell you what, one thing, they know how to bake. And I'm telling you, they are good. I don't know about where you're at, but by God, they, you name it. I don't care what it is. They can make it and put everybody else to shame. They make, man, they make the pecans, sticky buns and rolls and cinnamon rolls and cakes and pies and cookies and I mean, you name it, brownies, the whole nine yards. It doesn't matter what it is. And I don't care what it is, it's all good. Hell, you can't go into a store and find anything that good when the prices are outrageous. Where I'm going with this is there's some ladies out there, probably some men too, that you can sort of set yourself up a little stand in your garage. Now, they probably tell you you have to go get this permit, that permit, and all these permits, okay? you probably tell you that. Where I'm going with this is half a dozen of these older old you know these older ladies and this is where it, it, it helps some old, older grandmas you know like in their 80s even 90s they know this stuff and it's, it's it's just in their head i mean it's 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 there they don't even have to look at the recipe they know how to make it they've been doing it their whole life you teach these younger girls how to bake this stuff teach them how to do this and guess what? Uh, I don't know, like, a, I don't know how many, I don't know, six, seven cinnamon rolls in a, in a round pan about like that big around. I don't know, seven, eight bucks. Some people may think, oh, that's a lot. Go to the store. And, and what you buy is not going to be near as good. Guarantee it's not going to be near as good. Hell, some people look at a pie, eleven, twelve dollars for a pie, thirteen bucks for a pie, depending on what it is. It ain't gonna be near as good. The pie crust is gonna be like, wow, I, I you can't buy me this crap at the store. It's like I won't even eat the pie crust. I mean, I, I, my dog eats pretty good. That stuff, it's like, wow, that is good. I mean, I don't care. You, you eat the pie crust first because it's that good. It's like how Grandma used to make it. Exactly like Grandma used to make it. Anyhow, there's all kinds of things they make. And you can, it, 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 it shows the younger girls how to make this stuff. They can make money on it, and, and everybody kind of, you know, helps the side hustle. You know, it helps everybody. It helps the older ladies, helps the younger ladies, helps them buy some more stuff. And I'll tell you what, the Amish that do this stuff up here, Usually, like on a, on a Friday, they start this. And then it goes, you know, Friday, they go all night. Then Saturday, the people come in. I mean, Friday and Saturday, you can't hardly really walk in the place. It's that busy. They used to go up to the, oh, I don't know, bake sale place or whatever. 
and they'd take like three, four hundred pies with them. And I mean, we're talking, you know, ten dollars, twelve dollars, thirteen. They they didn't make enough. They're out. They have to turn people away. It's like we're, we're out. You know, it starts at like six in the morning, and at six in the morning, they, it's like you got all these lines. You got people just wanting this stuff, and it's like. They come home early because it's like we don't have enough room in the van, you know. They take two vans, and it's like we still don't have enough room. They sell out. People buy it. And this is what I'm getting at. Once people catch on, and it's like this is really good, word of mouth will do that. All of a sudden, man, everybody's at your at your, at your door. Everybody's at the, they pull up out the driveway. Hell, you probably have, I don't know, maybe have the cops called because it's like, yeah, we, we, congestion. Nobody can get in and out of the driveway or in and out of the road. It could be that bad. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at is, there's a demand for it. I know some of them, they don't make like birthday cakes, like decorate them and all that stuff. They say, we don't, we can't, we don't have time to do that. I mean, it's, it, it's hard enough just to keep up with demand of the, the stuff, but they'll make you like a, just a cake. You can decorate it yourself, but they'll make that. But I'm just saying, there is a market for it. And, and you get your granddaughters and and and, and your great granddaughters and, and your daughters and, and and they start showing and, and all suddenly they're damn fine bakers. They do they do very well for themselves up there. Go buy yourself an Amish bonnet and a little dress. <laughs> I don't know. They sell them here. <laughs> I could go buy a straw hat. But I don't. Take my old hat here that's older than most of you out there. <laughs> but <clears throat> it's just an idea. That's just one idea. I mean, there's a lot of other ideas. I mean, if you're if you're a good mechanic, you got a lot of hand tools and stuff. Great, you can fix stuff. There's a lot of skills out there that could be had. So if things get bad, you got a toolbox. You can bake. There's going to be people still have some money. Some people will be working. I mean, unless a total something really major happens. And even then, you're going to be able to barter with people, with services. Like I said before in my gold and silver thing, it's like you get to throw down a, a thing of silver and go like, well, what am I going to do with that? Right, what are you going to do with that? So, like Napoleon Dynamite, work on your skills. There's a lot of people that are good at a lot of things. And it's nothing wrong teaching the younger generation how to do these things. Instead of them sitting there doing this all the time. So, you guys can think of thousands and thousands of things. Me? Eh, not so much. I mean, come take care for livestock or farming or something. Well, yeah, but, you know. Everybody loves that stuff. 
There's all kinds of farming channels out there. That's pretty boring stuff. Here, I'm gonna put my camera on the on the on the windshield and we're just gonna go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down the field. It's like, okay. You can probably hear somebody snoring. That'd be me. Sometimes it's hard to stay awake. How many cows can you watch somebody milk? It's like break jobs. How many break jobs can you watch somebody do? Now these revival things are a little different. You know, everybody does you know different cars, different methods, different people. I mean, yeah, that that stuff. Yeah, you know. but a lot of people are living through them. They're living through what this person's doing because they're not able or or can't or don't know how. Thousand reasons why. Sitting on your ass won't get your project done. Anybody that <laughs> makes heads or tails out of that knows exactly who I'm talking about. He's a good guy. I like him. So. I may, I may razz a few people like that, but I like them. They're good guys. So, anyhow, I'll get done here and we're out of here, man. Like I said, y'all take care and keep praying for people. Pray for your enemies, pray for your leaders of this country. And the world. You know. Pray God comes into their hearts. Or does something just to. Like shake them up. Just enough to go wow. And all of a sudden they just had to change their heart. Scared straight. I don't know if you remember that stuff. But <laughs> I always laughed about that too. Scared straight. <laughs> I have to laugh. If you're old enough, you'll remember. You'll know what I'm talking about. Y'all have a good one.